Hey guys, let's install 7-zip on Arch Linux today. So let, let's take a look. Um, I'm in my home directory. Now I'm logged into an Arch Linux system over SSH. Now the command we want for 7-zip is 7z, which kind of makes sense. Now command not found. So we have to install a package and we're gonna install a package called p7zip. So um, to do this, we are going to run Pacman dash s. Um, let's see here, and we want p7 zip. All right, so we need sudo. Whoops, if I could type correctly today. And there we go, moving right up. There we go, we have it installed. So as we can see, 7z we have the command now it gives us the usage right there so anything you might want to do with 7zip um it's, it's going to give you all the command usage and the format and everything right here you could also use the you know ch check the man page for 7zip2 or the arch wiki or check the link in the description i don't have it updated yet but i'm probably going to have a, a neat little guide for this to hopefully um be easy to use and follow but yeah check the link in the description i'll probably have that up updated um, at some point, if not when this video is actually published to YouTube. So in any case, let's, let's show you how to actually use 7-zip. So um, you, you would run 7-z and you would say A to add something to an archive. Now let's say, call it my, my compressed file dot, um, let's, I, I guess 7-z. And um, let's see here. We are going to, um, so we're, we're gonna specify a file that we want to add to it. Um, let's see, we have a few things here. Let's just add my bash RC by default. All right, there we go. Now, if we wanna see what's inside this this archive, um, we I'm not gonna do a full 7-zip tutorial. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you every option you can use with 7-zip, but a few of the more useful ones. Um, but let's look, let's look at the contents of a file. So 7z L and let's check my compressed file. That will list the files in this and it shows that I have one file, it's my bash RC file. All right, so let's try adding another file to this. So let's try adding um, yay. This will take a little bit longer because it has a lot of stuff in it. actually has quite a bit of stuff in it but not too big of a deal I almost think I should have picked something smaller especially after having built this but we're almost there and yeah 80 something percent moving right along almost there and there we go all right so let's view this again now we can see besides my bash RC, we have a whole bunch of other stuff, um, including the whole structure, right? So the whole directory structure with subdirectories and stuff are all inside this zip file now, or seven zip file. All right, so um, we can list what's in there now, update existing files in the archive or add new ones. All right, so the let's go back to this where we added our bash rc if we run this again all right apparently apparently that updates it but um generally they give you the option to use a u to update the file this should update or add it any case so it, it would seem that if you run a U, it only updates it. It, it doesn't add the file. I, I guess adding using an A will add the file to the zip, no, even if it's already there and it doesn't need to be updated. A U will uh, apparently not do anything. But um, let's say if I edit my bash RC, vi dot bash RC. And I feel like I'm kind of getting off topic here, but. All right, just add something that doesn't have any meaning in there. 
and let, let's try this again. All right, now it says items to compress is one, so it, it, it updated the file inside the archive. Run it again, nothing to update, so it doesn't update. So that's kind of useful, so you wouldn't have to re rerun everything if you use the U, U uh, option rather than the A option. Now, um, if you want to extract it all, you could say 7Z E and extract it like that. All right, now it's saying, um, it says that there's, um, we, we could overwrite. So um, we, we could replace the existing file, say yes to replace it, no, always skip all, what, what, whatever. So um, I'm going to uh, quit. So um, that, that's how you would extract it anyways. And we could overwrite what's there or we could move to an empty directory. Um, extract with full paths is going to be the X option, right? So similar problem though. All right, and extract into a new directory. That this is this is useful. So um, you, you can add the O option, right? You, you could say dash O and say new, right? It's going to extract everything into this new directory. It looks like I I unpacked it, a lot of EA stuff. I already by default unpacked everything that was in EA directly in here, and just one subdirectory had a naming conflict. That's that's worth being aware of. Um, always be careful when unpacking archives. Anyways, if we check inside the new it's a good thing I'm going to be wiping out this VM and just uh, recloning it. But, um, whoops. Not that we couldn't clean this up. So, go into the new directory and we see yay has been unpacked here. Oh, and worth noting, it also has my bash RC. So, it, it, it unpacked the whole thing, not, not just the, the yay directory if you were paying attention to that. Um, let's see, in any case, that's that's all the normal stuff you would probably want to do. Um, there are other options, but that's that's generally everything you'd want to know for, for the 7z command, and that's how you install it on Arch Linux. So hopefully you found this useful, or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also, and uh, hit the little bell icon, up. otherwise uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up, and, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech-related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.